So you guys really enjoyed Balanced Random Towers x Ultimate Cross Babbing, and so did I, so this time we're gonna bring it over to a boss battle. The map for this week is Spring Spring, which is a pretty tough map if we're talking about boss battles, so that's why we're gonna play on just the normal boss. But even that's gonna be tough because we can't farm like we normally do with balanced random towers. So I think one way to balance it out is I'm gonna start with the cast drop, all right? This allows me to get a little bit of a head start in my farming, provided I get lucky enough, so let's just begin. So once again, we can pretty much max out at a 555 upgrade. However, there's a little bit of a problem with combining these mods that I'll mention later once we get that far. But yeah, right now we're basically just looking for hmm, a good early game tower. I know a 210 with Darling isn't bad. Oh, you got a 203 bomb. Okay, I keep this. Probably will help us beat the first uh, 15 rounds or so. But I'm gonna need to uh, you know, spend the rest of the money, hopefully, to randomize on a farm. But yeah, once again, for those who need explaining, basically, whatever tower I randomize to is going to be 20% above or below the cost of that upgrade. However, because we're playing on medium mode, I've noticed there's a bit of a problem when I combine the mods, and that is, uh, sometimes the money counts get a little bit funky. I think the value actually kind of goes down when you play on medium mode. On hard mode, this issue is not a problem at all. But actually, you might even notice it here. So, an 012 Bowen. The sell back is $2,000, so that means the value of the tower should be about... 2.5k, but you see, it. this is definitely not 2.5k. If I do the math right, it's about 1,500. So we're losing value on this, on these towers right now. And I tried to mine with other mods too, but couldn't really find a fix around it. So I just had to, just kind of have to live with it, deal with it. Which is why we gave ourselves, you know, a head start. But even then, you see, it's taking forever to get a farm upgrade. Because, well, there's 22 towers, so it's like a 5% chance you end up getting a farm. So in all honesty, I don't think it would be wrong to do another cast drop, because you can already see, guys, that it's looking very dire. Even for tier 1 here. 401 Ninja... Oh, finally. Okay, now we can get get the ball rolling. Let's see, anything really good yet? Not yet. Keep going. Jungle Drums is okay. Do I keep it for early game? I guess, sure, why not? Keep going. Okay. A crossbow, uh, triple dart. That's good. I like this. It has good pierce too. The thing is, if I put these towers in bad spots, I'm kind of banking on them being a farm eventually. Because if not, they either have to be a global range tower like this guy, or something better. See what this armor. Oh, there we go. 301. This is basically just, again, 300 farm. Can I allow myself to use the farm here? Actually, does it randomize too? Let me just check. Okay, thank god. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But yeah, right now I really don't have any damage for a tier 1 vortex. Should I start it? Perhaps saving up for that. You think a 2-0-3 uh, sub is okay for for Vortex? I think it's okay because it's got Intel, of course. We'll take it for now. We'll probably get some defense up in the uh, top the top side, right? This is where Vortex comes from. Got a Ballistic Missile a de camo sub. Thing is, am I really worried about camos? Not really. I already have a good amount right now. Just gotta keep rolling the die. Okay. Counter Espionage Ninja. You know what? Screw it. Reroll. Ooh, never miss Bomber Ace. So yeah, last time I did this with just random projectiles on a boss, that was obviously a lot easier because I could, you could, you know, I could deliberately just go for the best towers against a boss, which would be tax, super monkeys, all that. So how do you think we're looking so far? I don't think we're uh, doing good enough. Let's keep randomizing. Like, look at the damage. We have 1k out of 20. Like, seriously? I'm pretty much dead if I don't get a, uh, a good tower here. Like, a really good tower. You guys already saw that these towers are decent, but... The thing is, like, there's so few specific towers that are amazing at the boss. Well, let's... Come on, randomize. Oh, Sticky Bomb! Finally, but bad, bad placement. A little bit too late in the track. That's unfortunate. I think I'm gonna allow myself the cell towers. So that means I probably get, get rid of Sticky Bomb once it's out of range. Oh, first knockback. Okay, we actually keep it for now. Since, you know, we knocked it back a little bit. I'll get working on a better tower back here. Sal. Uh, yep, sell now. Please. Buckshot. Pirate. Buckshot again. Uh, no. No. Wait, wait, wait. How much damage is this? 30 DPS. I don't think it's good enough, to be honest. Nah. Not for that cost. Also, am I dead to balloons here? 180 lives. Come on, never miss. 
Come on. Oh, this is a plus one damage buff, but it doesn't even work on... Wait, this doesn't even attack. Bro. Well, guys, I think we are about screwed. Uh, what can I do? 8k? Let me sell the bomb. We gotta run away something really insane. Oh, spike mines. I don't think it's good enough. If it shoots us slowly. Right? Nah. Overclock? Alright, I think I lost, guys. <laughs> I think it's all over. Aircraft Cure Merchman's not bad. Well, I think we're gonna hit the skull, but there's no shot after this, right? At least I don't think there is. I got 6k to work with, I'm gonna just YOLO it. Honestly, though, a lot closer than I anticipated. And I mean a lot closer. Why is this not doing any damage, by the way? <laughs> Gotta tell that bugged out. Oh, we got Sigmon, it's so too late. If only if I re-rolled it a second earlier. No way, that had 90 HP if he, if he saw there. Imagine doing 99.5% of the damage to the boss and then die the last second. I'm sad. Now, if you re-roll, you notice that every tower randomizes again. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to restart, and I'm going to start with four cast drops. Give me 10k to work with. Hopefully, I can get a good farm, and then uh, go from there. All right, round seven update. We're able to randomize to, uh, I think, pretty good towers. Merchantman, Alpha Buff, and uh, Monkey Bank. I think the problem is that our uh, Merchantman doesn't attack. So I guess I need to get a different tower then. And Loki, guys, I think his Monkey Bank is going to save us here, because um, I'm pretty sure it makes more money per round from the marketplace. So you see, it actually auto collects too. Hopefully that's enough to get us on our way, on top of, you know, having Merchantman Eco. Once again, we're going to keep randomizing this tower until it's strong when up up. Okay, far to plane. This can work against uh, Vortex because the fire plane does good mold damage. I'll keep it for now. And then we'll randomize this one over here. Oh, we got a Mulp Shorter Spunk. This is fine because we can target uh, Vortex with it. Rerolling, rerolling, Sabo. Ooh, 204. This is. Yeah, this is solid. I'm pretty sure with what we have right now, a Mulp Shredder, Sniper, Ace, and Mauler, we can probably beat Tier 1 Vortex. So I gotta focus on pretty much making money now. So uh, hopefully, either a farm upgrade or a money making tower upgrade. Still no. Oh, another bank. You guys, we're in the jackpot now. As you see, we have a banana plantation, Monkey Bank. I wonder which one makes more money. All right, round 39, so this one takes about, yeah, also six rents to collect, so it's about equal to the Mark Play. So now we might basically got double the amount of uh, epic farm, farm money. See, again, auto collects. Also, in the meantime, we did get a Mulp Shredder Deadly Spike, which does extra more damage, I guess, so let's see. Let's do far targeting, so it, just to see how much damage it does to Vortex. Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, what? Oh, dude, we got AI balloons? Bruh. Well, now I got everything to re-randomize again, so I lost my good towers. I got a spike storm at least, but uh, I need farms again. Oops. Well, I got 25k to work with, luckily. So let's see if we get anything uh, decent. Assassin? Okay, we keep this because it does uh, damage. Manchi. Oh, flavor trade. That's good. Good enough. And I know it sucks to lose that much money. No more banks. But let's just go ahead and play the round, just to see how much damage we're doing. And then, I'll just keep re-randomizing. Same. We'll use this now, by the way. Ooh, supply drop, finally. And we hit the first goal, so... I think we got this, guys. Oh yeah, we definitely got this in the bag. I probably... Uh, do we even get a balloon trap? I don't even notice if we, if we have it down in the field or not. And we don't, so I'm just gonna randomize that one. Because it seems pretty worthless, and yeah. Once again, just keep randomizing stuff that... Doesn't give you money. Another spike storm. But yeah, apologize for the really scuffed run. I know a lot of people suggested that I should do random projectiles on top of this, but that would just be even more chaotic than it currently is. I think with what we have on the field right now, we have enough things to worry about. It. That's all I can really say. So GG. Tier 1 finally done after several fails. Uh, Jungle's Bounty, we got this one. I guess we're keeping it. It's a really scuffed uh, farming defense we have with only one farm making money, but... Hey, better than nothing, right? I'm just gonna roll for the 1% chance we get a bank again. Can't believe I let that go to waste. We got a Sabo, but nah. Recursive Cluster Molt Mall. Oh, okay. 
If this does what I think it does, this could be some massive damage. We still, we still don't have anything that is giving us amazing damage. This is a Bernie stuff mortar, which I guess is good for balloons. I also think I should keep stuff that has good balloon damage because, again, you saw that I died immediately to tier 1 because apparently, apparently the bottom side leaked because it was going really fast. Oh, we got another jungler's bounty. This I take. Now I just gotta get, like, at least a base farm. How unlucky can it really be to not get any farm upgrade at all if I just keep randomizing? Because it's just any farm upgrade that can increase my druid bounty power. But after all these rerolls, I have not come across a farm at all. Not at all yet. Got a tier 4 alpha buff. Is this worth keeping? Honestly, yeah. Even though it's only alpha from the druids, it helps a little bit. A lot of people also just suggested that I keep a tower limit. But as you see, I pretty much have to get more towers if I want any chance of beating this. As this game with bosses, like if, it's really not possible to beat bosses with a very few amount of towers. Especially if we're doing it like uh, random tower wise. Now we got a P trading, so I keep that one and I'm going to reroll this one. And oh, there we go. <laughs> we got the bank once more. Not only does it help out our druids, make it 480. We finally have... Oh, crap. It's not a good one, though. The good ones were the Mark Place and Banana Production, but hey, it's something. Let's see. Anything good? Uh, not really. Flash Bomb Jitsu. Here is, um... Tier 2, by the way. I really don't know if we have enough damage. We, we still only have a Spike Storm. If we have multiple of them, I think... That would be good. Super Monkey. Also, what the hell is it targeting? Well, I guess that's a surefire reason to not keep it. Try again. How good is a Laser Cannon Buckshot? Let's see. Uh, pretty pathetic. Sticky Bomb, yes. Our Lord and Savior Sticky Bomb. And let's take a look at the, uh, Mauler damage. This is actually really good. Also, we're gonna die to AI Balloon, so I need... I need defense back here. Crap, crap, crap. Don't. No shot. So, I guess the problem with putting all the terrorists up there is that... Is that the Vortex stuns them. Even the Mortar too, so... Uh, we couldn't pop. And now we have no farms. But yeah, I'm gonna take a moment here to just, uh, randomize some of these towers that I end up getting. And then hopefully... Uh, oh, I got a Jitsu Sticky Bomb. That's pretty cool, too. Rerolling, rerolling. Ooh! Uh, Hotshot Blade Overdrive. So once again, I've lost all my farms, but there's not much I can do about it. Let me just go. And hope for the best, alright? Uh, we got a Sharpshooter Juggernaut. I'm guessing keeping this, even though we can't do any damage initially. It's fine. I also really don't feel like the Tenet guys. That the bottom path gets the slipstream. I'm pretty sure it's not intended that it goes that fast down there, right? Because I don't know if you know, but the slipstream is supposed to only work behind Vortex. But I guess it's uh, coded weirdly on maps that split. Because, yeah, we're getting wrecked to Moabs, and I guess I'm not too mad now that I'm dying to, like, AI balloons. We got an 022 farm. Oh my god, so bad, but it is money, so I have to keep it. How are we looking for, uh, this tier of Vortex, though, with our new random loadout? I think so far, so good. 63 here, should also be fine. Come on, oh, another! Another Hotshot Overdrive. Pretty Pog. And we can see how much damage it does once it gets really close in here. Couple hundred. Pretty good having nothing to scoff at. That's what we're talking about. And yeah, one more Skull to go. Tier 2 is done, but again, we're gonna suck for Tier 3 if we don't get more farms. Alright, 1k, and Tier 2 is done. Okay, so now that that nightmare is over with, let's get back to farming. Well, we really didn't do much, let's get rid of it. Ooh. Long Life Mop Shredder. Hey, we got a Dead Precision Shrapnel Semi-Auto, which seems pretty okay. But yeah, I'm still looking for that farm, guys. Skip. 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 Ooh, okay, Spike Storm again. This is a long life Spike Storm. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Now, quickly. Oh, Marketplace. It only took 70 rounds to get it. Let's reroll this. Flavor Trades. Okay, there come the farms, but again, it's, uh, I don't know if we're gonna make enough money in time for, uh, for it. Two, three, four, recursive. Uh, I'll keep that. No, I won't. Hey, there's a Jungle's Bounty. It took long enough to get one. One back up again. Two jungle's bounties. Uh, got that one's in range of the farm, so I guess we take it. You got two rounds to go for our next boss, and I'm not prepared at all. 
All right, another jungle's bounty. So we have three of them, but they're all different paths druids, which is kind of uh, kind of funny. And now here it comes, guys. Here it comes. 294k. So it's about five times the HP. Oh my god, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I think we're going to need some serious revisions if we want any chance of uh, winning this tier at all. Which might require, you know, dying and just resetting all the towers again, hopefully getting something good. Or maybe I should roll the die on, like, a very expensive tier 5, because I haven't done that yet. Right now, I've only stopped at, like, midway tier 4s, because, well, they were pretty decent, right? Take a look at this one. That's pretty good damage, but not so great for a tier 3, that is. Because, yeah, you see, we're only getting the first skull right here. That's not even close, so... I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, die here. And maybe after a restart, we can get a really good draw. Maybe sell some towers. Okay, so I got rid of every time on the screen that I didn't see uh, as very useful. So we got 90k to work with. And I'm just gonna yellow it. Let's go big with Inferno Ring. Aircraft Cure Trade Empire. Unfortunately, that's not good enough. Because I don't need Trade Empire money. Flagship time, alright. ODS Sarbama. Again, as you see, the, the total cost of the tower is not 56k. So I'm getting way less than the value that I should be. Which is really unfortunate. Got a Balloon Cineration, which is not good enough. Plaza Fan Club, not good enough. Marine's not good enough. Cripple is uh, good, but I have no towers to buff it with. Comanche. Inferno Ring. Inferno Ring again. Grandmaster. Uh, nope, we're not getting lucky, guys. Not lucky enough with this. We're not getting any of that. Okay, 544. Blave Lord? Nah. I mean, I guess I don't have a choice but to play. And hope that we uh, do something here. Like, I don't think this is do well, but I wonder how much the ability does. Let's wait for it to get in range and then use it. Oh, okay, wait, that's really good. That's like over 1k per second. My only problem is that I don't know if just that one tower alone is enough to. Take it down, but we'll see. Like, we got a really good upgrade, but it just seems like we need more. Also, is that a bug? I think we just ran into a visual glitch where the ceramics just froze, and, uh... Label Lord isn't damaging the Moab. It's just knocking it back. Okay. This, this run is just dead, guys. Apologies for the really scuff run, but next time, I think I'll have to find a way to... Well, first off, not die, and then lose my amazing farms. And second of all, find a way to get the randomizer to work, so... We don't actually get less than the value we're putting in. Because that's not a good recipe for success against the boss. Hope you still enjoyed, though. That was an interesting uh, run. Or set of runs. If you have any ideas of how we should do this moving forward, then let me know. But until then, see you next time.